students, civil services aspirants, particularly UPSC civil services, civil services of all the states. Candidates for even other examinations also. I am Professor Ishwarya, retired from the University of Hyderabad. We are also having one institute and became, of course, that institute became somewhat, you know, irregular because of Corona and other problems. So I am the director of Everest IAS Academy. Based on my experience and, you know, exposure, I would like to give some suggestions to all the, you know, aspirants and candidates of course uh, of uh, you know different examinations which I mentioned. Number one is that <clears throat> whatever you have studied for some examination, one examination, two examinations, spent a lot of time failed or reach the you know highest stage but you know misses the selection with one or two you know marks for the next examination or different examination I think it's useful to remember certain things like whatever you have prepared for you have to somewhat repeat keep it in mind to retain whatever you have studied whatever you have you know uh, clear, very clear about so that will help you in in fact preparing for your next examination next examination within a short time sometimes you for the next examination of another civil service Actually, you don't have to prepare at all if you retain. Say, once you are sitting in the examination, it will come out as if, you know, you, you are a computer and you have kept some information in it. So that's what I mean by retention. So, sometimes, you know, mucking up also is not very bad. Say, for example, <coughs> so in fact, mucking up is the highest form of retention. For example, most of the pujaris or brahmins who conduct, you know, ceremonies, you know, they, they, even if they are coming from, you know, they are uh, coming in the midnight. In fact, they come and, uh, you know, prepare the, you know, uh, boy and girl, uh, uh, group, bride and groom for the marriage and they start their mantras. That is, they have mugged up. So, sometimes in some cases, mugging up is, is not preferred, of course, but in in certain cases for retention, for retention, even for the, not only even the, say for example, multiple choice question, but also and mostly in the, the <coughs> uh, subject, uh, subject to and descriptive, you know, model of uh, examinations, uh, retention is very important. There you can also save time. How you save the time? For example, certain things which you have not marked up or which you have not retained, retained the matter in your mind, this thing. You have, you, while you are writing also, you think. Thinking this lot of time. And this trick of retention applies, is applicable to particularly quotations. Some quotations. Some quotations, in fact, you know, to retain and write quickly in the exam, uh, in the examination paper. That's answers. Actually, I think you know, this will work. Uh, mugging up in here, in fact. It is two, three quotations. For example, uh, say, uh, I, I will give you one quotation uh, of, you know, H.G. Wells, for example, in his book on history. He says, he appreciates Asoka, for example. He appreciates Asoka in his this thing, you know, amidst the tens and thousands of monarchs that crowd the columns of history, 
The name of Ashoka shines and shines almost alone as a star. More living women cherish his memory, more than even the names of Constantine and Charlie. So this is the quotation which I have taken, which I have mugged up from the book written by H.G. Wells on history, Indian history. So this is how, in fact, you know, a good, uh, how you can save that time in writing this, after it, because you have mugged up. You, you can write this with fast, you know, you write it so it should be fast enough. It should be fast enough in writing one quotation or some matter which you have written because to, that will help you to save the time for some question on which you don't have direct and full information. You want to, in answering that question, you want to try to say it and time, think and, you know, uh, and they write. So, <clears throat> making up some quotations and retaining some matter, some, you know, this thing, you, uh, you, you have to follow these tips, you know, to save the time, brother. So that, you know, some, certainly in any examination paper, you will have some questions, some uh, bits which you, you, have not, you are not so clear, you, are not, you have not retained. The, uh, another tip I would like to give is, <coughs> the name the, which I would like to give, less time and more learning. Less time or in the, you can put the other way. Less time and more covering. Covering more in lesser time. How will it happen? It will happen if you follow this trick. So what is that trick? That is, generally what we do is, you know, one country, the population of India, oh, territory of India, states of India, temperature of India. And then you go to another, another state, another country. And then afterwards, oh, you have completed the syllabus, so oh, you have uh, uh, <coughs> you have uh, uh, studied uh, and then, uh, say for example, completed the information about India and information about Australia, information about, you know, America. I think this won't work. This won't help us in saving the time and learning a lot within a short time. So under this, you know, cap, I would like to, caption, I would like to say that you take one topic and then cover the information about that topic, that issue, that name, that event at a time. How will you do it? Say for example, <clears throat> I will take the capitals of, you know, 150 and more countries in the world. As far as possible, you have to try to study, refer, pick up the names of the capitals of all the countries in the world at a time. And it's not pass it is not impossible, it is possible. Within the short time, you are going to cover all the uh, referring and reading the material about the capitals of all the countries in the world. Of course, there, there are some difficulties in this. There are some difficulties because, you know, for, uh, for years, of course, you can uh, find, uh, take the years of revolution which occurred in different countries, in from the Google, this thing. Or uh, for some uh, other, uh, you know, easy these things, you know, you can some material, get some material. But you will not get material for all the topics, all the issues, all the events and so on. So, what is the difficulty, what, what is, what you have to do for that? You have to keep all the sources of material around you. For example, dictionary, it's about uh, not only one phone, but two phones, cell phones, and then uh, earbooks around you. Because 
sometimes if you consider the capital it's a capital of the country itself you know some some uh, year books or some sources of information that the fellow may not give the capitals of all the countries for that at the same time you have to refer to another book another year book or another you know this thing you know guide at the same time you should not shift it you, you should not stop the work of learning the capitals of the countries complete this by getting all the information from all the sources which you have kept around you if you are getting not get if you are not getting information about the capital of a country in the book in one book you are immediately have to refer to another this thing or if you refer to google and so on so this is how within the less time ah now memory also is memorizing and retention also is uh, possible in this tree because you have uh, you, within a short time when you are, because you are considering considering uh, the information about one issue at a time you are also having a comparative view oh for example a uh, revolution socialist communist revolution or socialist revolution in china and india china and sorry general revolution and general independence in different countries for example china and india more or less the same time say 1947 in india and 1949 in in uh, communist revolution and establishment of communist this thing in china and uh, <coughs> this revolution and then uh the revolution uh, social revolution in russia in october revolution 1970 1970 and because you are considering these points in a comparative perspective you know you will try to oh india or oh, uh, china and india more or less at the same time but you know october revolution in uh, and independence uh, revolution in soviet union russia october revolution that happened in 1970 1917 so it also this answering and preparing for cap, uh, knowledge of capitals getting uh, preparing for getting knowledge of all the capitals at a time preparing for that this you know in a very easy easy way thank you